it seems like Carol Sanchez has been returned to her family. Apparently, she found herself. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, Carol Sanchez kidnapped herself. Okay, so first, I want this to be known that I'm not saying that as a joke. I mean, literally. The way that the story is currently turning out, this young lady had her own self kidnapped. Okay, so it's now coming out that the 16-year-old that we know is Carol Sanchez is now confessing to staging the kidnapping that prompted the Amber Alert. Now, that doesn't change the fact that Amber Alerts need to be on time. Before we even get into her shenanigans, I want to explain something. This young lady was uh, fake kidnapped about 11, 1136 last night. And today, you got it, today at 10. Uh, uh, let me get the exact time, one second, because this didn't make any sense. Today at 1039 is when I received the Amber Alert. Now, I have a couple of problems with this before we get into her shenanigans, her, her, what the full time foolery she was up to. The Amber Alert that I received just said, Bronx, New York, Amber Alert, check your local media. That's not enough. That is not enough. If you guys are going to be sending out Amber Alerts that we want you to do, you have to send us more than just that. At least a description of of the first of all no amber alert should go out without a description of the actual person that the amber alert is sent out for that doesn't even make sense i have quite a few amber alerts right that i'm looking at right now and i don't see any description of the person who was kidnapped i see a description of a vehicle i see a description of a suspect but i don't see any description of the individual that we're supposed to be looking for that was kidnapped y'all gotta change this fix that anyway the young lady is now being accused or apparently she has come forward and said that she kidnapped herself. Now, first thing I want to say is shout out to CBS 2. That's where I'm getting this information from. Um, I believe this is 2 CB CBS 2. And it's, it, there's an article and it starts off. The 16-year-old girl who was apparently kidnapped right in front of her mother's stage. The whole thing, sources told CBS 2. Now, first thing I'm going to say is... I'm not staging anything that involves my mother being pushed to the ground. Anyway, next thing. It keeps it goes on to say the apparent kidnapping in the Bronx was staged by Carol Sanchez, who confessed to it after being reunited with her family Tuesday. Now, I went down to a rally that was being held. Uh, I don't know if you want to call it a rally. It was a press conference more than anything else. So I went down to a press conference that was being held today um, in, in uh, I believe it was 156 in the bronx uh i believe the street was i don't know the street i, mean, I, I was on 156 in the bronx 156 uh eagle avenue in the bronx right um and there was a rally or a uh press conference being held there the girl lives in the neighborhood and the way that it was being described as the mother was in the street. She was yelling and screaming. One of the neighbors came down and gave us some assistance and called the police and everything else. Uh, like, you can't send your family through this type of stuff. So, I don't know what's going on in that young lady's household. But immediately, the services need to be looking into that. Because either they, there might be a problem with her. Just her. Or there might be a whole nother issue. But it's a shame that all of the resources was used to look for her and to put out the word that she was missing and it'd be a situation as that what we're finding out now anyway sources say that it was all staged sanchez was unhappy and had four accomplices 
Uh, they have blurry surveillance video that showed the scene in the Melrose section of the Bronx near 775 Eagle Avenue on 11.30 p.m. in Monday. It says that the video shows four men in a sedan pull up to the Sanchez and her mother, grab the girl, and push the mom to the ground. Now, before we go any further, I want to tell you about a conversation that I had today. After I came from the press conference, I was inside of uh, a store and they were talking about it. And this is before I heard that the thing was staged. This was um, right after the press conference. I mean, the person I was talking to probably already had heard about this. I don't know. But the, the person said that it sound fishy. And as soon as the person said that, I said, well, I don't really know about people running up on a, a mother and their, and their daughter or whatever the case is. Like, it's rare. It happens. Don't get this confused. It does happen. But it's rare for people to run up on somebody that's with somebody else, snatch them up and throw them in the car. That just seemed a little fishy. Just, it just does to me. But it happens. This is it's not something that doesn't happen. This has happened. Anyway, um, the NYPD put out an amber alert and flooded the neighborhood with missing posters. At 2.30 p.m. Tuesday, Sanchez suddenly showed up at the scene, turned herself into the police as stunned people on the street watched. We was at the pole over there looking at her picture, and we walked up the block, and she was crossing the street to the cop car. And I was like, yo, that's her right there, said Tommy Feliciano. She was shaking up, she was bending over, grabbing her knees, and discussing with the police. And that's when they took her into the parking garage for questioning, said Zanny Kosha. I, I don't know how to say that name, I, my apologies. K-O-X-H-A. Sanchez was brought to the 40th Precinct Station House, where sources told CBS2 she staged the whole thing with four accomplices. Family issues are apparently at the root of her unhappiness. The NYPD wants to talk to all involved before deciding who, if anyone, will be charged. Now, um, this is why I'm saying they need to find out what's going on. Because this is an extreme measure to go to. I'm going to tell you what I think might have happened. What I think might have happened is, whoever her accomplices were, after they seen the all of the fuss that was being made... After they seen that people weren't just going to say, nah, this is just another black girl. We're going to ignore the situation. After they seen how how strongly people were looking for her and realized, you know what? You might not ever be able to go out in public again. Now, if you're actually abducted, you're probably not going to be going out in public. But if it's a fake abduction, sooner or later, you're going to go out in public and you're going to get exposed. So I'm guessing that the people that was helping her, her accomplices, there's a good chance that they just didn't want no parts of this and said, yo, look, you got to go home, yo. Seriously, we're not doing this. There's no telling right now at this point. I guess we have to find out. We, I, I, we don't, we'll see if we even find out. Anyway, it goes on to say, all day residents have worried about Sanchez and kept a close eye on their own children. They worried about Sanchez's mother. Witnesses say she was distraught Monday night after her daughter was driven away. She was just screaming, my daughter, my daughter, my God, someone please help me. She was screaming hysterically and I was looking, wondering what was going on. She was just screaming in the street, said one, one witness said. Now, first of all, whoever that witness is, what do you mean you was just staring, watching and wondering? If the daughter was really kidnapped, you wasn't even, I know what, I'm just going to leave you. I'm just not, I'm not even going to entertain that. Anyway, Sanchez and her family uh, live in the Bronx is basically what they're saying. Now, uh, I want y'all to leave down in the comment section what you think that the police should do with this situation. Because there are really people being kidnapped. This kidnapping thing is not fake. Her kidnapping is fake. But the, but the, but there is a fact that we have a problem with kids disappearing. And when you have somebody staging something like this, it kind of muddies the water and it dilutes what people are trying to do out here that are trying to save these young girls and young boys and, and women just in general from being kidnapped and their families never seeing them again. So let me know what y'all guys think the police should do. Should they just let her go home and just leave it alone? Should they... First of all, who else thinks they should investigate the family or investigate the girl? Maybe she has something going on with her. Maybe her living condition is really just that bad. We don't know. 
Let's find out. This seems like a situation that maybe if we can get this family and this young lady some help, we'll be able to mitigate some of the some of the problems that we have in our community right now involving family and and the, the generational gaps that exist. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think. Leave the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.